What's going on guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how I am running 14 wides on my leveled F-150 and answer the long overdue question of do they rub? I feel like the answer to that is pretty obvious, but I'm going to go into great detail today showing y'all exactly how much this thing can turn, where it rubs, what we could do to eliminate the rubbing, and what it's like daily driving a leveled truck on 14 wides. So let's get the basics out of the way. 21 F-150 FX4 four-wheel drive. It has a Bilstein leveling kit, so I replaced the struts with the Bilsteins, and they are on the top puck, so the highest setting with this kit. I have the rear blocks removed. There's actually a good bit of stuff in the bed of my truck right now, so it's sitting a little bit lower in the back than normal, but that pretty much made it sit level. And then we got the 22 by 14 negative 81 Archon, what are these, Alexanders? I can't even remember. Uh, 305 40 Nitto 420 Vs. Yes, we got some stretch, which is gonna help us in this scenario, but yes, the tires are kind of stretched on this 14 wide. Gives it that cool street truck look, whatever the case, you either love it or you hate it. If you're on this video, you probably love it. I haven't trimmed anything. Um, nothing weird is going on. This is just this wheel and tire setup on this level truck. And fortunately, due to Ford's fender well design, I guess just the overall truck, it fits pretty daggum good. So let's just jump straight into it. Where does it rub? Well, clearly it rubs right there on the bumper. But if you look, if we were to cut the bumper, maybe get you another half a turn, maybe a full another turn. Genuinely, you're gonna laugh. Running 14 wides on a level truck that you haven't cut the pieces to where you can actually turn full lock, it's a lifestyle change because you really have to have a lot of forethought and preparation into your everyday commute. Parking lot like this could be a nightmare, especially if there's cars in here. You're going to be stopping. You're going to be backing up and resetting a couple times. I'm going to show you exactly how much I can turn, some different scenarios. We'll go out driving, talk to you about it, and just have an overall in-depth look at 14 wides on the leveled F1. kind of easy to predict once you get used to it. Look at that. Boom. Sitting at a T. Totally able to turn in here. But, let me just... Alright, this is straight. Right about there. Right there. That's where it rubs. Yeah. So, so when you're going forward... Got right at that much, right there, before she's gonna start hitting, which is that much turn. So it's a pretty good bit. I mean, it doesn't, it might not seem like it might seem totally ridiculous, but uh, in most scenarios, it's fine. Here's a prime example of gotta, gotta be mindful of the situation. We want to turn right and go to the post office but can we make that turn with a car sitting there and these goofballs doing whatever they're doing, which is not driving correctly? Yeah, you have, what are y'all you, doing? We don't have a stop sign. People, people don't know how to drive. All right, now we got 100 cars coming in over here. All right, we're gonna wing it, we're gonna wing it. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna be over here close to them. We're good, we're good. Then we're gonna chill here. We're gonna chill here. We got people looking, it's all good. They're like, why is this guy filming? Yeah, I'm turning behind you. I'm turning behind you, ma'am. This guy, get out the way. No, no, I don't know what's going on. She almost just hit him to let these people out. To Now we almost just crashed. Now we're getting mad. Uh, come on, man. Come on. Come on, brother. Right, come on. This ma'am, she's just going to have to get blocked. We're scrubbing up in here. And boom, successful. <laughs> Typically, I would pull over there and park, but you see, like, you got to pull left. And then a pretty sharp right right there. And like, if that red car's there, there's no way I'm making that turn. It's it's impossible, especially someone coming out. These kind of things, they're just no longer accessible with the 14 wides unless you plan on ripping your bumper off. Um, 
But you just got to be mindful. That's all there is to it. You just got to be mindful of where you're going, plotting your route, and, uh, you know, avoiding all the goofballs that are in totally stock vehicles that drive worse than you on a vehicle that is hindered by your turning radius. And boom, just like that, 63 cents later, we got one stamp, a bill mailed off, and we can get out of here. Driving with the 14 wides, not only do you have to be mindful and have some forethought, but you also kind of got to have the... I'm going to do what I want to do mindset and y'all can just deal with it because there's some times where I'll just stop dude and uh, you can just you could just continue your path because I know if I continue mine like this guy right here um, yeah I'm taking up a good bit of the road but he'd be all right um, I'm not going to curb my wheels to try to make someone else happy so I might just have to you know hit the pause button chill out for a minute and uh and wait for someone else to go through or whatever the case will we blast out of here i think we will god this freaking truck rips bro. <laughs> obviously on roads like this it's nothing uh, when you get into back roads it's nothing you just have to be very careful not to go off the side of the road because a lot of at least back roads around here you'll find the shoulder is a steep drop off it's the road and then drop off a little ditch and with these wheels being um, stretched like they are or the tires you will totally smoke your um inside of your wheel i mean there's been a bunch of times in parking lots where maybe i'll park and uh come out and there'll be multiple cars around me that weren't there and I'll have to do a couple extra turns or stops and reverses or pick a different path or whatever the case which sounds probably totally obnoxious and not worth it and ridiculous to even have to you know do that but it's just the, it's just part of it I guess but like I said with this truck it's really not been a hassle at all now like my 22 Sierra, when I had the 12 wides and the 35s on it, it was just a burden to drive everywhere. I think that's why I ended up getting so burnt out on it and freaking ditching it because it just was a nightmare. To, it rubbed everywhere. Like this gets a pretty good bit of turn, which you've already seen or you're going to see. You've probably already seen it. Um, whereas it was just, it, it was not okay. And it was so annoying to drive everywhere. This is totally manageable, which is due to Ford's good wheel well design, surprisingly, because, um, you know, it's weird. Different models, like Chevys and stuff, are usually good. You can stuff a 35 on pretty much every vehicle you can stuff a 35 on. But a lot of times the Chevys are really good about it, not rubbing or anything, whereas the Fords will run into the crash bars and stuff. Which this, if I cut to where I could, make, I could make a full lock, then I would probably hit the crash bars and everything, and I'd, it'd be a nightmare. But not trimming anything. And I still am totally able to daily drive this, no problem whatsoever. Got a little clean cat eye sneaking up on us. Aside from that, dude, it's awesome. It gets a ton of looks, obviously. People probably either love it or think it's totally ridiculous, which I can understand both. Um, nice Tesla tag, electric, L-C-T-R-I-C, electric, <laughs> electric. Shut up. You know, maybe some require more trimming to get to the level of drivability that this one has but totally doable don't regret it i think it looks great um and like i said it's totally drivable Woo! tell you what dude the 14 wise i just hit different it just hit different